Hi everyone, welcome to Ram's Music Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can automate a few parameters of a software instrument in Cakewalk by BandLab. In case you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of future videos that I will upload. Alright, let's get going. Uh, for this example, I have used Native Instruments Massive on an instrument track in Cakewalk by BandLab. Uh, I'm just running it through uh, a single C3 note running four bars on a loop. This is how it sounds. Nice. Now what we want to do here is we want to automate around three parameters, let's say, uh, using one single knob of a MIDI controller. Right? So let's see how we can do that. Now for this example, let's use the three amp parameters on massive, that is the amp knobs of oscillator one, two, and three. Let's automate them in Cakewalk by BandLab. In case we MIDI learn each of these knobs, they will have to be assigned to different CCs. MIDI learn uh, on these knobs will not work simultaneously with one CC being able to control three knobs. However, in Cakewalk by BandLab, you can do this by way of the remote control function and I'll show you how we can do that. Firstly, we need to open the Syntrack view. So we go to Views, click Syntrack view. Now it comes on below the browser. You need to undock that. So we get it on a separate dialog. Only then will you be able to look at the various controls. The first thing we need to do is click the Assign Controls so that we can assign knobs on to the tracks macro controls. Let's open the show hide assign controls. You see they're all blank now. We're going to assign the three amp controls here. So all we need to do is touch with the mouse the three amp knobs of oscillators one, two, and three. So that's one, it's two, and this is three. Click this assign controls but again three parameters were touched. Are you sure you want to assign these controls? Yes. There you see all the three have been assigned. Next what we do, we will group all these three controls into one group. For that you need to right click, open the group manager, create a new group, let's call it knob one. Okay right click each of these controls select group knob 1 knob 1 third one as well to knob 1 now all these three controls for the three amps have been grouped into one group the next we want we need to do is we need to MIDI learn the one single knob that we want to use to control these three amps for that again you right click the one of these controls Go to remote control, move the knob on your MIDI controller. I'm moving one knob on my MIDI controller and then click learn on this dialog box and there you go. It's assigned to controller 78 because the knob that I moved was CC78 and uh, it's been assigned. Say OK and now when I move that particular knob on my MIDI controller, you can see all the three controls moving and similarly if you see the three amp parameters on the massive instrument, you can see they're moving as well. The next thing we want to do is automate them on the track. Now for this, let's just close these dialog boxes for the moment. Open the automation lane on the track. Go to the options for the parameter selection. Go to massive one and there you have oscillator one, two and three. Let's click oscillator 1 for the first one. Click the plus button for another lane. Go to massive 1, oscillator 2, plus button for the next. And then we go to massive 1, oscillator 3. Now another thing we want to do is we want to reverse 
the direction of one of these controls. Now, if I move the knob, you can see they're all going from 0 to 100, that is from minimum to maximum. What we want to do is we will right click, go to Group Manager, let's say, uh, okay, and now we, the other thing we've got to do is this is an absolute option. We need to go to Custom Option on the Group Manager so that we can modify the values out here. The far oscillator 2, instead of the values going from 0 to 127, so these are the, uh, the, the, the MIDI ranges, 0 to 127. We want to do this reverse from 127 to 0, which means for the oscillator 2, the control will move from maximum to minimum when we move the MIDI controller knob from minimum to maximum. Let's say OK. Now, if you watch the MIDI controller knob, you can see for oscillator 1 and 3, they're moving from minimum to maximum. And for oscillator 2, it's maximum to minimum. You can see the same if you open the Syntrack view and the instrument view. There you go. You can see oscillator 2 on both the instrument and on the Syntrack view going from 100 to 0, whereas 1 and 3 are going from 0 to 100. So we've achieved what we want in terms of how we want to control these. The next what we'll do is automate them. So I'm going to click play and then move my knob. But before that, let's not forget that we, ha we have to activate the right automation. So the W button on each of these lanes have to be activated so that we can write automation. Next we click play and move the knob. You go the automation has been written now we switch off the right automation and take a listen nice so in this way we can automate more than one control using one knob of the MIDI controller and get the automation we want so hope you enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my channel again and uh, uh, click the bell icon so that you uh, will be notified of future videos uh, and I'll be making a lot of such videos for you know this DAW and uh, various other DAWs as well and many instruments so thank you for watching good day bye